I'd like to do now is talk about materials modeling in MotorSolve. And um, as um, as I mentioned, uh, as I mentioned near the beginning of the session, um, uh, there is a default materials library that contains over 200 materials that the user can select from and apply to any aspect of uh, of the model. To um, and as well as uh, as well as having the ability to create uh, user-defined materials from scratch and then apply those to the model. Uh, it is possible to simply uh, if using one of the materials from our standard library, it's possible to scan through or uh, look at all the uh, the various magnetic, electrical, and other properties, um, loss data, etc., of any given material by simply uh, selecting it from the menu and uh, select and right-clicking on it and selecting properties, as I've done, which now shows you here a summary of the material um, property that is being used for the for. Um, uh, analyzing models in MotorSolve. Uh, to create a new model, uh, to create a new uh, material, you simply select the user material option and select the new material, uh, the new material option from it, which will first prompt the user to select a particular menu to which, uh, in which you would like the new material to appear. So this will essentially allow the user to um, uh, make sure that if you're, if you're, uh, if you're making a, um, uh, a, a new material for the uh, for the uh, rotor bars. Uh, you probably don't want that material to appear in every menu as you go through the design process. So then you can select uh, you can then select which menu materials menu for it to appear as you uh, uh, as you go through the design process. So you can simply start by uh, calling a particular material, giving a material a name, <coughs> selecting from a list of color from the from a list of color codes. And uh, give it a description if you wish, if you wish to, of what this material is about, and uh, and then simply start um, specifying the various magnetic uh, as well as electrical properties uh, for the magnetic permeabilities. You have the option of specifying a new material as linear isotropic, complex, anisotropic, etc. Um, demagnetization is available, of course, for induction motors. This is uh, not a concern, so. Um, uh, iron loss computations. Uh, MotorSolve has uh, implements a state-of-the-art iron loss uh, computational capability based on the Steinmetz equation that you see on your screen. And the way it works is you begin by um, uh, you can simply specify or implement uh, import rather uh, loss data from Epstein frame computations that are usually available as a function of frequency thickness. Um, at various uh, peak value, various uh, 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 peak flux density, and um, having import, having specified or imported experimental data such as this, you simply select the update uh, equation option based, and uh, based on this applied data, then uh, the uh, coefficients of the hysteresis um, of the hysteresis portion of the core, uh, of the uh, core loss, as well as their exponents as, and the uh, and that of the eddy current coefficient uh, are computed based on the supplied data. Uh, once these uh, parameters are, of course, um, uh, have been determined from the supplied data, uh, then this formula is uh, is applied to um, to uh, to the model to be able to compute the hysteresis and eddy current losses and and uh, and uh, report them at the component level for any given model. So in addition to iron losses, uh, it is possible to specify the electrical properties as linear, uh, nonlinear, uh, resistivity, permittivity, uh, as well as thermal properties as I mentioned earlier and mass density uh, for um, a complete flexibility as far as uh, materials modeling uh, are concerned. Uh, before